Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina, your complete Toyota resource. I forgot something very important. I forgot to do the intro part of my video. So we're getting right into it because of my forgetfulness. We're comparing the 2020 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro Army Green against the Army Green 2020 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you all the little details, all the big highlights, and then you have to compare them and tell me your favorite at the end. Let's get right into it. This is a pretty cool shot to show you how the vehicle, how that Army Green, the exclusive TRD Pro color this year, how it looks in the sun versus when the sun's not quite on it. So it's clearly a brighter, fuller color in the sun, but it's just a dark, kind of really cool. I like it better actually when the sun's not quite on it. What do you guys think? I'm probably the biggest fan of the profile, just that sturdy, rugged, aggressive look of 4Runner. This is what I call the last true SUV left on the planet. Body on frame design. Notice with the TRD Pro, you can spot it a mile away because it has that trademark roof rack now. The tires, we're gonna show you those tires in just a minute here. We've got minnow grab look tires. They're 17 inch and then they have the matte black with red TRD logo, alloy wheels on it, color keyed over fenders here, color keyed side mirror caps. The one thing I would like to see on it is it would be nice if it did have blind spot monitor or turn signal indicator, but it does not. So we're just going to move on. It has smart key auto open on the driver's side and the passenger side. You can lock it just like that. Okay. Unlock it like this. Then it has full size doors. You'll see there's going to be a difference on the Tundra. This has TRD Pro black badging here. And then the fuel mileage, it's combined to 17, 16 in the city, 19 on the highway. It has ventilated disc brakes on the front and the back. They're 13.3 inches here and 12.28 inches in the back. And then you certainly have earned the right to a full close up of some of the features of the 4Runner's profile. The fuel tank size on every 4Runner is 23 gallons. Standard burn roof. I want to explain on this Tundra the wheels. Normally the tires are going to be stock tires, factory tires. They've been upgraded to 18 inch Nitto Grappler tires. The wheels, they're BBS Forge 18 inch TRD wheels. Now, notice, you'll see here, this is gonna be the double cab. You can get the TRD Pro this year in either the Giant Crew Max with the bigger back seat and a five and a half foot bed, or you can get it in double cab, which you see here, which has the six and a half foot bed. Some people need that longer cab space some people need a longer bed space what's your preference that's up to you now this has 13.9 inch disc brakes in the front 13.6 inch disc brakes in the back it has smart key auto open on the driver's side and the passenger side lock it like that open it like that i do wish that it also had blind spot monitor and turn signal indicators it does not the moonroof is not standard on Tundra TRD Pro. You guys are gonna be seeing my reflection like Peter Pan style pretty soon here. Show you that. TRD black tipped exhaust there. This has a larger 38 gallon fuel tank in Tundra. So 38.0 TRD Pro stamped into the tailgate. Here's the double cab, all that jazz, and then we'll show you the wheels and tires along with those Fox shocks. You can see them really well now. There they are. Actually, road trip time. This has dual exhaust on the Tundra. So here's the dark inside because the sun's not on it. Dual exhaust there. Yeah. 
Let's do a close up here of both of the front ends. You'll see that they're both very similar, but they're all very, very different here. Now, the Forerunner is going to have projector beam headlights, daytime running lights. It has high intensity LED fog lights. Over here, Tundra has LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, also the LED fog lights. The ground clearance, 10.6 inches on Tundra and 9.6 inches on Forerunner. The Forerunner has the Toyota Signature front grille here. This is where the Toyota Safety Sense is. If you look at a 2019, you will not see the visor here to protect the radar technology. Also a camera in the windshield here. Pedestrian detection, pre-collision system, lane departure alert, radar cruise control, and automatic high beams. And then this has more of a, um, a horizontal type pattern with different links in it. And that's very different from what you'll see on the Tundra. And of course, Tundra looks all big and beefy because, well, it should. It's a full-size truck here. This one has more of a three-dimensional kind of in-your-face front grille here. It stands out, makes a huge impression. Then you'll notice the hood scoop, the camera technology, the radar technology right here. It also has the four pieces of Toyota Safety Sense, just like our Forerunner friend. Now let's look underneath Tundra first because we want to see the TRD skid plate that protects the valuable parts underneath when you're going through brush and remote trails and things like that. You can see all the way underneath that. And then this one has the Fox tuned shocks with piggyback reservoirs here. Plain. Make sure you get a chance to see all that. And the function and the benefit is it absorbs heavy impact when you're going over uneven territory or ground but then it's smooth it changes up to smooth when you're on the highway and city streets and things like that this is the forerunner trd skid plate of course Let's just look under here it also has the fox shocks and springs you see that plane did you guys ever think you would see a shot like this right back there Woo! that's exciting Woo! Woo! The real question is, what is the right way to talk about the engine performance? Forerunner first. This has a 4.0 liter V6 engine. It gives you 270 horsepower and 278 foot-pounds of torque. That is matched with a five-speed automatic transmission. Forerunner is meant totally for off-roading because it's gonna have crawl control, multi-terrain select, locking rear differential, also automatic traction control. And then our Tundra friend here, the bad boy, this has a 5.7 liter iForce V8 engine, 381 horsepower, 401 foot-pounds of torque. This is put with a six-speed automatic transmission and it has electronically controlled transfer case, active traction control, and also auto limited slip differential. But it does not have like the Forerunner crawl control or multi-terrain select. You may notice that the overall length of the vehicles is different. That's because the Forerunner is 191 inches long. The Tundra is 228. That's either 15 feet or it's 19 feet. So a difference there. Now, you'll also notice that they have standard integrated tow hitch with the four and seven pin connectors. The towing capacity. This is one reason why you might choose one over the other. Forerunner has 5,000 pound towing capacity. That's very strong. But the Tundra has nearly double that. Not quite, but nearly. Anyway, if you get the Crew Max, you're going to have 9,200 pounds tow capacity. If you get this double cab that you see here, that's going to be 9,900 pounds. 99, 99 said Life Balloons. 
I want to show you one of the options that you can get on a Tundra TRD Pro is that TRD sway bar in the back as well. See the Fox tuned shocks in the back. All right, there's the integrated tow hitch, the four and seven pin connectors, has the backup camera, locking tailgate. Traditionally, this does not have a bed liner, although we added a spray, spray in bed liner ourselves to the vehicle. You can see that it has some tie downs in the front, in the back. It also has a deck rail system so that you can tie down bed cleats so things won't roll around or fly out while you're driving down the road. We'll look under, first of all, I'll show you the cat back exhaust there with the Forerunner. Just go ahead and show you underneath it because most of the time people don't get to see underneath. There's a spare tire. Uh, underneath our Forerunner friend here. Integrated hitch. This has backup camera. Now this has the back glass that lowers and raises. You can also lock it right here. But the back glass does lower. And then this is the back of Forerunner. This one also has the sliding cargo deck that comes out and it holds 440 pounds. You can use it for tailgating, for working. Has a grounded outlet. 12 volt circular port. JBL speakers, the seats fold down flat. This is a good example right here of the red contrast stitching. Since we're here, does not have an option for a third row seat, so don't ask. If you're looking for a lot of room for your back seat passengers so they're gonna be comfy, this might be the choice. I'm in the 2024 runner right here. The seats are at different levels of being back. Lots of leg room, good head room here. It has two rear, USB ports and rear air vents. The two USB ports, that's port, port, cut, take two. Two rear USB points, cut, take two. Two rear USB ports are standard now in the 2020, so that's a little different. It has back seat pockets here. And then this, this is with the seat a little bit more back, but you can see there's a really good amount of room to stretch out and kind of chill a little bit. Also, I can lower my seat, recline it a little bit. It has the O-S-H-I-T handles right here too. Again, we're in the Forerunner here. One of the complaints or areas for improvement was the size of the multimedia screen and the capabilities. Now it has Android Auto on it. It has a redesigned front display has Apple CarPlay, it has an eight inch touchscreen, also Amazon Alexa, JBL speakers, has 15 JBL speakers in it, concert-like sound, the air's been redesigned, TRD shift knob, oh yeah. And it has great visibility too, wide, huge windshields as well. We're just kind of looking up here now. This is going to be a sort of a brief synopsis here. You can see the crawl control, also the multi-terrain select, standard safety connect is there, and of course the moonroof as well. Has a redesigned multi-information display, leather wrapped steering wheel. This is the Tundra double cab here. It does have a good amount of leg room. It has a little bit less than Forerunner, I feel. But if you're looking for the biggest backseat, let's say you have tall backseat passengers, like tall teenagers, that type of a thing, go with the Tundra Crewmax TRD Pro here. So, very wide backseat here. Lots of room, tons of headroom. Love it. Cup holders come out here, a 12 volt circular port like that. You can also add at the dealership level two different USB ports in the back as well yeah yeah now we're going to show off tundra trd pro so you can get a look for 
yourself what you think of this. It's got the eight inch multimedia screen, has dynamic navigation system, so that comes from the cloud, real time, no more map cards, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa. It's got two, three different USB ports in the front. You like the sound effects? Leather wrapped steering wheel, of course. Just has a different feel or vibe to it. Also has smart key push button just like Forerunner does. Thank you, TRD Pro 2020. Standard safety connect right up there. Also, no moonroof standard. Then here's a view in the tundra of your leather seats here with TRD Pro and the red contrast stitching along with the black does have a power seat here goes not up and down forward and backward this is the back of the seat and then lumbar support red contrast stitching everywhere it's accented with metallic accents The world's biggest console. It's huge. Shut. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not, do not, Sam I am. But I do like the Army Green Forerunner. I love the Army Green Tundra. Excellent. Have them with some green eggs and ham. Now we've got TRD headrests here with the red contrast stitching. This one here does not go up and down. It goes sideways, back and forth, and then this is the back of the seat. No lumbar support in the Forerunner. Hey man, just keeping it real. the glove box show the center console here heated seats this is the button right here for the back glass it's a one touch and then forerunner has Soft text trimmed, heated front seats. Power driver seat with lumbar support. Four way auto open windows. Leather wrap steering wheel, of course, and then it has the new. 4.2 inch multi-information display, which is an upgrade from last year's model. Compass, music, lane departure alert radar, cruise control, settings, you can set your lane departure alert pre-collision system. Sway warning that comes off if you're steering and veering outside of your lane too much. Says, hey yo, time for a nap. There's the dynamic navigation system here. It is dual. Dual temperature controls, just like that. And here's your crawl. Locking rear diff, active traction control, safety connect, turns traction control on and off, and then I hope the leaves are, leaves are uh, changing color where you guys are. It's brilliant, man. This is the window sticker and specs for Tundra TRD Pro here. Made in San Antonio, Texas. Great safety ratings here. There's the gas mileage on Tundra. Now this has 
a little bit different. It shows the unique TRD Pro content along with performance so you can see individually what you get if you get the TRD Pro. And then the interior features, of course, I love the multimedia upgrades, big fan. Big fan, Mr. Teague. Then we've got, remember I told you the wheels were switched out here, or the tires were. Predator step bars were added. The sway bar, the tailgate power lock. Then this is gonna be a car that's going to be 52,400. All right, here is the... <laughs> You embraced it, my friends. Forerunner TRD Pro, made in Japan. The gas mileage is certainly improved from the Tundra. Standard equipment, it also has the sliding rear cargo deck added to it, and you can see the 350 price on that one there. Mechanical. Safety, down at the bottom you'll get to see the unique TRD Pro features. Got that roof basket on top. Has some paint protection added to it. Then this one here is 51,793. Remember the Tundra had some more features and options on it at the regional assembly point. So that could have added to the price just a little bit there too. Yes, this is exciting. I'm finished. I feel like the cast members of Saturday Night Live after they finish a performance, like you wanna just hug everybody and high five it and pound it out, that kind of stuff. So you guys can reward me by writing down in the comment section what you think of the Army Green TRD Pros. Which one would you choose? Maybe you got a wild card. Maybe you want the Sequoia. Maybe you want the Tacoma. Those are coming up a little bit later, but we'll be getting to them. Don't you worry about that. So thank you guys so much. Please subscribe to the channel. See you next time.